In this video, we'll add Xdebug3 to our PHP setup. The Xdebug installation steps are not very straightforward, unfortunately, and they have changed since Xdebug2, so please follow along closely. The prerequisites are that you already have a local web server, I have Apache, and PHP 8. There's my PHP, and Visual Studio Code which I have open here. If you don't have these programs, I have links in the description on how to set them up first. Let's get started on Xdebug. We are at Xdebug's homepage. Let's click on install. Click on Windows. Click on follow these instructions. And we'll follow the instruction here, where we get the PHP info and paste it into this box. Over at VS Code, I'm already pointing to my web folder. Let me create a new file. I'm going to do Control A to select everything, and then Control C to copy everything. Go back to our Xdebug page, Control V to paste everything in here. Then I'm going to click Analyze. The web page just created a custom installation instructions for us, so we'll follow along. Step one is to download the PHP Xdebug extension. Now, because this file is a dynamic link library, you will see this warning. I'm going to keep this file and let's find it. Step two says to move the file into my PHP folder under the ext folder, and then rename it to phpxdebug.dll. I'm gonna grab my file, come over to PHP under the ext folder, and then paste. I'm gonna rename this file. Step three says to update my php.ini file and add this line. Go back to my PHP folder, find my php.ini file, go all the way to the bottom. I'm going to create a xdebug section and then place in the line. Step four, we start my web server. I'm going to hit reload. Okay, let's verify. I'm going to hit refresh. The spot that I want to look at is right here to make sure that PHP can see Xdebug. Back at the instructions, we move down to the next section. What we need to do is set up step debugging so we can actually step through our code. Let me open this. Go down to the configurations. This tells me to add a, another parameter to my php.ini file and set it to debug. One thing to note is that xdebug is the one that connects to your IDE. So we need to tell xdebug where to connect to. Since we're running both xdebug and Visual Studio Code on the same machine. We don't need to set the client host because by default, it's going to connect to local host. But we do need to tell it what port to connect to. So we need this parameter. Now, what port do we connect to? We jump over to Visual Studio Code. We need to add an extension. The extension is called PHP Debug. You can search for it up here. I already have it installed. Once installed, we jump over to the Debug tab and create a launch file. We'll be using the first configuration, which is to listen for Xdebug. The default port is 9003. Go here back to php.ini and we put in for 9003. Since we made changes to php.ini, 
We want to make sure we reload the web server. We'll continue down to the next section. The instructions here says that xdebug activates if it sees a trigger. And it depends on how we connect to it. Since we're connecting through a browser, we'll jump to the browser section. This section tells us that we need to add a browser extension. Since I'm using Chrome, I'm going to add the extension here. The xdebug helper is installed. I'm going to pin it so it shows up right here. Now that we have all the components in place, we can check whether debugging is working. Over at VS Code, we'll create a new file. And we'll throw in some basic code. I'm going to put a breakpoint on line 3 and also line 4. Now I'm going to jump to the debugging and start the listener. Over at Chrome, notice that I cannot activate xdebug helper until I load a page first. Let's load my test page. Now I can activate xdebug helper. Let me refresh again. Okay, it's working. As you can see, we're stopped at line three. Line two has been executed. So the value of hello is hello world. Now I'm gonna to step to the next line. Notice that the value changed after executing step three. I'm gonna let it run all the way. And debugging is working. Now, if your breakpoints are not stopping, check the steps in the video and make sure you didn't miss anything. Let's do a quick review to make sure we understand what is happening. Over on PHP, we added the xdebug module. Over at Visual Studio Code, we also added an xdebug extension. And we configured it to listen on port 9003. We also told xdebug to connect on port 9003. Over on the browser, we also installed a xdebug helper. So step one, we start listening on VS Code. Step two, we activate the xdebug helper. Step three, we went to our test PHP page. Over at Apache, when we requested the PHP page, and we have xdebug on, it creates a xdebug session variable. We'll take a look right here. This content here says Eclipse. It should say VS Code, but this parameter doesn't seem to matter. If you want to change it, It's over here on the xdebug helper options. Like I said, it doesn't seem to matter, so I'm not going to change it. Apache kicks off PHP. The session variable tells xdebug to activate. So it connects to VS Code, and this is our debugging connection. If the breakpoints are not stopping for you, there could be a couple of failure points. Either xdebug is not on, so the session variable never got set. Let's take a look at that scenario. But before we do, we need to add another parameter so that xdebug creates a log of what it's actually doing. We set the value of xdebug.log dot slash represents the current PHP folder. So for me, that means the log file will show up inside the PHP 8 folder. We'll save. We load our web server. Go back to our browser. We'll deactivate xdebug. Hit refresh. Notice that the breakpoints did not stop. Let's go take a look at the log. Inside my PHP folder, found a new xdebug log. 
This first line is okay because we are using xdebug session to trigger xdebug. The second line tells us that the xdebug session variable did not get created. So that's why xdebug did not activate and the breakpoints did not stop. Another scenario could be the port. Maybe we have a mismatch of ports. Let's see what happens. Over at VS Code, I'm going to stop debugging. I'm going to change it to port 9004. And then start the listener again. Turn my xdebug helper on. Hit refresh. Debugger did not stop. Let's see what that log says. As we can see, xdebug is trying to connect to the old 9003 port and it is timing out. So those are some of the possible reasons why your breakpoints are not stopping. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you learned something today, please give me a thumbs up. For more content like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.